How do computer circuits make billions of decisions each second? The answer is next on Binary Tutor. In Tutorial 1, Simple Circuits, we looked at the inverter gate, the simplest of all logic gates. Whatever signal is input, the opposite will be output. So 1 will get you a 0, and 0 will get you a 1. AND gates are different in that they have at least two inputs. Let's use multimedia logic to investigate how they work. First, let's get an AND gate on our circuit canvas like this. In order to demonstrate its operation, we will need two input devices, like toggle switches. We will also need an output device, a single red LED. Wire the switches to the AND gate like this. Wire the LED to the AND gate like so. Now let us test the circuit by running the simulation. Notice how both switches are now at zero and the LED is dark. Notice how setting the top switch to one changes nothing. But now, when both switches are one, the LED finally becomes lit. And when we set the top switch back to zero, the LED goes dark again. Which leads to this rule of thumb. When both switches are one, the LED is lit. Now let's build a truth table based on our observations. Start by labeling the switches and the LED output. Next, add a pretty table header list all possible input combinations, and verify. The first combination, where both A and B are zero, leaves the LED dark. So put down zero dark for that combination. Next, leave A at zero, but set B to one. observing that the LED remains dark. Now we set A to 1 and leave B at 0, again observing that the LED stays dark. Lastly, set both A and B to 1, observing that the LED becomes lit. Thus, we have completely defined the AND circuit. OR gates are like AND gates in that they have at least two inputs. First, let's get an OR gate on our circuit canvas like this. Just like the AND gate, we will use two toggle switches. Again, a single red LED. Continue by wiring the switches to the OR gate like this. Then wire the LED to the OR gate. With switches, gate, and LED wired, we are ready to test the circuit. Just like the AND, notice how both switches are at zero, but the LED is dark. However, unlike the AND, setting the top switch to one lights up the LED. Also, when both switches are one, the LED remains lit. Setting the top switch back to zero leaves the LED unchanged. This leads to a rule of thumb. When either switch is one, the LED is on lit. So let's build a truth table based on these observations. Again, label the switches 
and LED output. Add the table header, list all possible input combinations, and test the circuit again while recording our observations. The first combination, where both A and B are zero, leaves the LED dark. So we record zero dark for A and B both zero. Next, leave A at zero, but set B to one, observing that the LED becomes lit. Now we set A to one and leave B to zero. Again, observing the LED is lit. Lastly, set both A and B to one, observing that the LED is lit. This completely defines the OR circuit. Now, in this demonstration, the inputs to the inverter, AND gate, and OR gate changed very slowly. In a live computer circuit, these signals could be changing as fast as the CPU clock rate. On some computers, this is in the gigahertz range, literally billions of times a second. When its input changes, an individual gate may need to change its output based on the rules we just examined. 